Well, hello everyone, my name is Angelica Violet, if you've never seen me before, and today I'm making another video about finances. So, a week ago, or a little over a week ago, I made a video talking about how I'll be spending my tax return. Um, that didn't get a lot of views, so if you're interested, go watch that up here. I wanted to come on today and kind of talk more about that, so I did end up paying off my Discover credit card, which is just so insanely amazing. So here's a clip of me doing that and don't mind that I look like courtship because I literally just woke up and did it once my tax return kicked in. Okay, don't mind the sound on this because my heat is going off and I like can't be bothered to just like wait until it's done. So right here I have my Discover credit card and I will be paying the rest of it off because I just got my tax return. I only received my federal, which was the $2,795, but as of this morning, um, Acorn also wanted to take a few monies out, so it's a little less than, like, I anticipated when I made that video, because, like, state and federal come in at different times, so I'm going to record my screen so we can have it up together. All right, logging into my Discover app. And I'm just going to go to pay. As we see, the current balance is $1,128.53. Um, <clears throat> I did put a few monies on already this month, so pay current balance. Wow, <laughs> that's just, oh my god, that's so crazy. So, thank you for your payment of $1,128.53. Um, so, <laughs> it just feels so surreal. Um, but I guess it won't probably feel this good when I look at my card statement in a couple days and um, $1,000 has gone from my bank account, but I guess that is the purpose. So here is my Discover credit card, and as of like the next billing statement, it will have zero dollars on it, and that's just kind of surreal. Um, I don't plan on ever like using it again, but um, I don't know if I have like the balls to chop it up, just because I'm kind of codependent like that. Um, I at the mental health and substance abuse facility I work at, they also have like credit counseling. So maybe I can like chop it up there and like put it in a little, like they have like those big water jugs. So maybe I can do that later, but well, that's just insane. Needless to say, I was pretty ecstatic when that happened. And I guess I just wanted to talk more about my history with credit cards because I feel like, I've had quite the experience and journey with them. So while I was in college, I would always get refund checks because I would take out too much money on purpose so then I'd have like money to survive off of. And with that, every semester when I would get my refund check, I would always pay off my credit card that was maxed out. And within that couple months, I would end up maxing out that card again. So it was kind of a never-ending cycle that I never broke. And some of you may know that I graduated college in May of 2019, so um, there was no more refund checks to be able to rely on. So that is why I started this journey, because I do not want to live off of maxed off credit cards. I do not want to have maxed out credit cards. So this is why I'm continuing to keep myself accountable and post videos like this. I'm also a big fan of the financial diet and I end up posting my like zero card statement or whatever on the financial diet's Facebook page which is called Talk About Money and I got so many nice comments and like thumbs ups and love and whatever. It just felt really good to have some sort of like community support when talking about money and like feeling accomplished because this is not really a conversation that we have a lot with other people like 
finances is so taboo and like scary to talk about so it's really amazing just to have like some sort of community to share things like this with and be open about. And with also my tax return I ended up buying some things from ASOS which I did talk about in my video. So I literally just got home from work and my dog is being annoying. Hi Squeaky! Hi Squeaky! Hi Squeaky! It is here. I'm so excited. So let's just rip this open. I think these are the tights I got, or short leggings. Looks good enough for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, the Doc Martin Airwares in the Sinclair Black. Um, I got them in a size 9 because it's usually what my Doc Martin size is. Holy fuck. <laughs> look at this boot. This boot? Look at this boot, Toy. Look at this boot. This is a crazy boot. It has the nice front zipper, which I'm looking forward to. And I know these are gonna be a pain in the ass to break in, but beauty is pain. Let's put it on my foot. Look at my boot, Chewy. Look at my boot. Wow. I'm so excited to have new boots. Sorry, says. <laughs> And then also, here's a few other things. My cute dress. This is in a 16 as well. And it's just a little baby doll dress because that's really the only style of dress I like wearing. Okay, so I really like vibe with the trend of like wearing all different earrings because, you know, I'm just like eclectic and quirky like that. Tui, can you just... You're beating up my neighbor Totoro. How did you even get that? Give that to me. Tui is always trying to steal my neighbor Totoro and like, this is my toy. Like, look how excited he is. Tui says, this is, this is mine. This is not yours. Mine. Anywho, so I got this set. It's from Re Reclaimed Vintage from the ASOS website. One is an angel wing, one's a skull, one's a rose, and the other one is a heart with wings. Well, they're kind of flipped, but yeah. So that's my ASOS haul. And then after that, additionally, I did put on about $400 onto my PayPal credit card. I didn't get my state refund, so I'm kind of a little short on that. And then, as well as I didn't put all of the money onto my PayPal that I wanted to because I wanted to use Boil Myself and get a few more books. I'm trying to like get into this thing where I actually like read. I am not really the biggest fan of reading, but I'm trying to find books that I have interest in so it'll make things a little bit easier. I ended up buying Patricia Bright's book if she's a YouTuber if you don't know, but also why would you be watching me and not know of like one of the most famous babes on the internet. And then I also ended up getting this book from Brene Brown. She is a famous, I, I think, I'm pretty sure she's a psychologist at this point. I don't know if she is, has her doctorate in sociology or social work. I don't know. But she talks a lot about vulnerability and that is something I find very interesting and I try to be vulnerable. So that is something I had an interest of reading about. I believe her TED talk is on Netflix. I'll link that in the description because she is very amazing and I think you should go check her out if you haven't already. So as of right now I have $1,935.17 left on my PayPal credit card and within the next couple months I'm hoping to pay that off. I every time I get a paycheck I have everything budgeted out, including food, fun time, whatever, sinking funds. And the remainder of the money I always put onto a credit card that I'm working on, which the next one I'm working on is my PayPal. So I don't remember when I said estimated I was going to be over. I'm thinking like May or June, I'll probably have my PayPal credit card paid off. But of course, just keep 
like following me and subscribing and you can watch me do that. And then after I pay off my PayPal, I plan on working on my Chase card. That's at 1,600 something. I'm still on like the promotional zero interest thing. So I'm not like accumulating any interest on that card as of now. So I have until August of 2020 to pay that off until interest starts coming. So um, I'm hoping to have that paid off by then as well. So while simultaneously paying off all my debt, I am working on doing a few saving challenges and working on sinking funds because sinking funds are so important. And if you don't know what they are, here's a definition because I'm too illiterate to try and explain that. And then I'm also doing a savings challenge. So according to what according to what week of the year it is, like that number is how much you put into your savings account. So at the end of the year, you'll have like a thousand four hundred and seventy eight dollars, and that is very exciting. And I am trying to work on that. So I think I'm like forty or fifty dollars in working on that. We're like not really that far into 2020, so. We still have some weeks to go. A lot of my videos have been like debt related so I'm thinking of kind of like branching out and doing like more budgeting things as long as well as like doing like the what I spend in a week and stuff like that. So if you're interested in any other financial sort of topics or anything really that anyone else doesn't talk about like body positivity, mental health, self body image, whatever, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe because I want to get monetized. Thank you so much. Have a great day. <laughs>